Hey guys, we're on day number five of six of this core and mobility program. Almost at the end here, hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. We're jumping in today on the bum, doing some hip openers. Should be a good one. It's a little bit tougher today. We'll make it through. So have a seat on the bum. We're gonna open the knees up to 90 degrees, bend the knees at 90 degrees. From here, use your hands behind your back to keep yourself nice and upright. And we're gonna be swiveling side to side. So let's go ahead and get into it. Keep the chest nice and tall. Looking for some input on where we can go next with the program. So let us know down below. We'll see where we can go next. We'll be doing six week programs every Thursday for the foreseeable future, just to help you guys achieve some mini goals within your greater mobility goals. So coming up next, we're gonna do some 90-90 work. So we'll swivel both legs out to the left once we're done here to work on some good mornings. All right, so let's take both legs out to the left-hand side. So we want a 90 degree angle with both knees and then 90 degrees at the hips. We're gonna turn the chest to face the left leg, hands up nice and tall. And from here, we're gonna do some good mornings over this left thigh. So reaching long and forward into it and then back up. Try not to round the back, keep the back nice and tall. And here we go, long and forward and then up. Super common to feel cramping in the back hip. That's totally fine. It does go away as you get stronger. Long and forward. Keep the spine as straight as you can. Nice and slow. Make sure you're in complete control with that left leg halfway through. Decent amount of hip stuff today, so expect them to get a nice little working. Okay, so we're gonna sit upright, still in this 90-90 position. This time, use your hands to prop yourself, stay as upright as you can, facing your left leg. We're just gonna lift this back leg straight off the ground. Try not to lean to your left. So we're staying super upright and just lift. A little bit of lean is okay. If you do lean, keep the lean that you get from the first rep and try not to lean any further than that. Stay upright and lift and hover. Lift and hover. Don't worry about getting this leg super far off the ground. What's more important is that you don't move and compensate by leaning your torso. We wanna move just from the hip. We're working the internal rotators of the hip. This is a very crampy one. We're almost there. All right, and we're gonna flip over to the other side and do those same two movements on the right leg. So 90 degree angle with both knees, 90 degrees at the hips. Turn the chest to face your right thigh. Arms are gonna be up by the head and reach long and forward for those good mornings on the right leg. So let's get ready. And here we go. long through the spine. Feel the right glute working. Okay, so let's stay nice and upright. Keep your body facing over top of that right thigh. And we're gonna be lifting this back leg straight up and down off the ground. Try not to lean too far to the right. A little bit is normal and okay, but whatever lean you get from the first rep, try to maintain that much lean. So here we go. Let's lift and down. Again, it's better to lift a little bit, but stay upright as opposed to leaning super far and lifting super far. So teeny bit of lift. Stay nice and upright. Right. Just 10 seconds left. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna have a seat on the bum for our first core work. We're gonna be doing a V-sit, known as a teaser in Pilates. So have a seat nice and tall, roll the hips back so that you're on your tailbone. And on our level one, we're gonna have the knees bent like so and keep the spine straight. And level two, we'll have the legs straight. So we're holding for 40 seconds. Let's hold. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Chest high, hold yourself in a V. Let's get it. A bit of balance here on the tailbone. Even if you started with the legs straight, feel free to drop down. You'll feel your hip flexors and abs working. Keep the back as straight as you can. Feel the thighs, hip flexors, and core. Almost there, guys. It's a tricky one. Hold tight, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Burning now. All right. So let's make our way onto hands and knees. We're gonna do a fro half frog stretch. So let's come to hands and knees and we're gonna take the left leg straight out to the side and then rock the hips back, sticking the bum out. So like you're sticking the tailbone up to the air and you'll feel a stretch in the inner thigh. You can come down to the elbows if it feels better for you, but keep shifting the hips back, arching the back and sticking the tailbone out and make sure your toes face forward or slightly inward to feel the stretch through the inner thigh. Keep pushing backward. We're halfway. Okay, so let's shorten up the step just a touch so that most of the stretch goes away and you can come up to the hands and knees if you need. And then from here, we're gonna try and keep everything still and we're just gonna lift with the legs straight, the legs straight off the ground, hold one, two, and back down. Really fight so that you're not leaning to the side. Here we go, lift, one, two, and down. Try to keep both arms straight, one, two, and down. So you're feeling the hip doing the work here. One, two, down. You'll feel the core work a lot to prevent you from twisting. Awesome. If you have troubles getting the foot off the ground, just shorten the step up so that your legs are closer together. That'll help you. 10 seconds, couple more reps. All right, we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So let's bring the right leg straight now. Spread the legs wide as you can and make sure you're sticking the bum out. You're trying to bring, arch the back, bring the tailbone to the sky. Push your hips back. Make sure the right foot faces forward and you can come down to the elbows if it feels okay for you. Aiming for an inner thigh stretch. So here we go, 40 seconds. pushing the back into an arched back position. So tailbone pulling up, flattening out the back, push the hips back, feel all through this inner thigh stretching. Okay, so we're gonna go to those leg raises. So shorten up the step a bit so the stretch goes away. We're gonna have the hands on the floor. Try to keep your arms straight so you're not rotating. And we're gonna lift this right leg straight off the ground. Hold one, two, and down, and really fight that you're not leaning off to the left-hand side. So here we go, let's get it. Lift one, two, and down. Again, lift one, two, and down. You're gonna feel most of your weight in your right arm. That's it. Feel the hips working halfway. Get in there, 10 seconds. Last one. All right. So 
So let's find our way onto our back. Similar to what we've done with the hollow body hold, we're gonna do a dead bug. So lie down on the back, bring your knees up to tabletop so your knees are over your hips, arms out in front, and flatten your lower back on the floor. Make sure there's no space between your lower back and the ground. And we're gonna lower the left arm and right, sorry, right arm, left leg at the same time. So opposite arm and leg, as far as you can without lifting the lower back off the floor. As you lower the arm and leg, make sure the other arm and leg that is hovering stays in one position. So we're not doing bicycles. Keep it steady. Low back stays nice and flat. And let's keep working. Past the halfway mark. Keep the low back flat into the floor. All right. From here, let's lie down on the left hand side. I'm going to take the right knee, so your top leg is going across to a 90 degree angle. Arms are going to be out in front, and from here, we're going to draw, we're going to, like we're opening a book, open as far as you can without lifting the right knee off the floor. So here we go. Reach the right arm back, keep that knee on the floor, and then come back in, like opening and closing a book. And really try not to let this knee lift off the ground so you're feeling the side of the body opening. Let's keep the knee on the floor so we're keeping the hips squared and twisting from the upper spine. You can have your eyes follow your hands. We're just do the same thing on the other side. So let's switch, lie down on the right side. And then take the left knee, so the top knee goes down onto the floor. And then from here, opening and closing the book with the left arm. Let's go ahead and get ready. And here we go. So open with the left, eyes can follow the hand, and then back, like we're opening and closing a book. Okay, and we're gonna be back to our back for some really tough supine flares. You can see there's a bent leg version down below, which is our regression. But from here, lie down on the back. We're gonna take one leg straight up and one leg floating above the floor and we're gonna roll the legs through a middle split, keeping the legs straight and wide. You can bring the arms up to a T and roll as much through that split as you can, keeping the legs straight. Feel the hips working. Make sure there's no crunching or cracking. And just roll through that as best as you can. We're almost there. Probably enough time for one more. All right, that's perfect. So we're mo moving into side plank raises. So we're gonna start on a side plank from the hand. As you can see, our regression today is just hold a side plank from the elbow. But let's have the left foot in front. So left hand down, bottom foot. So left foot is in front, top foot, right foot is behind. Come up to a side plank. From here, we're gonna drop the hip to the floor, keep this arm straight, and then lift as high as you can. Feel the side of the body working. We're just gonna go up and down nice and slow. Lift as high as you can, and down in the bottom. Try to make sure your shoulder stays stacked over the wrist and we're dropping from the side of the body halfway. Really feel the side of the core working. Ten seconds. Feel those obliques work. Enough time for one more. Let's get it. 
All right, and we get to do the exact same thing on the other side. So side plank, right hand is gonna stay on the floor. Let's get the bottom foot. So the right foot will be in front and the top foot, left foot is gonna be behind. So get tall into that uh, tall plank. If you find these too tough, just pop into a regular side plank. But here we go, drop the hips down and then lift high as you can because the side of the body working. Drop the hips down, lift up high side of the body's working. These are tough. It's time. Okay, so we're gonna come up back to some high Cossack squats. So let's bring the legs wide. A good starting point is to bring your ankles as wide as your wingspan. Keep the hips and shoulders face forward. We're gonna drop one leg into a squat. The other leg's gonna stay straight. Come down as low as you can. Back tall through the center. So here we go. Down, keep the hips and shoulders squared forward. Low as you can, up through the center. Try to keep the chest tall and really sink the hips straight down. Keep this other leg completely straight. So we go side to side. It's okay for the feet to turn out a bit. That's normal. If you get super flexible, you can lift the toes at the bottom to bring your hips a little bit closer to the floor. But as long as your shoulders and hips stay squared forward. Last one. Okay, and we're gonna finish with a scorpion stretch. So left leg is gonna go first. So we're gonna come into a push-up position. From here, let's bring the knee tall and then reach it up and over and lift this knee up toward the ceiling and drape it over to stretch the whole left side of the body. So let's get up into this position. Knee go, left knee goes high to the sky and reach across. We should feel everything stretching in the whole side of the body and hip. Keep arms straight, lift that left knee up to the ceiling. Feel the side of the body stretching. Halfway. Open up guys, reach across. We're doing that exact same thing with the right side. Whew, that's tough. So, starting from a push-up position, we're gonna kick the right leg up high to the sky and across the body to stretch the right side of the body and hip. So, let's get ready. Push-up position, let's bring that right leg up and across the body, arms nice and straight. Really reach the knee up to the ceiling and open the whole right side of the body. the right hip open, the lats on the right side. Open up guys, you got it. We're almost there. And we're gonna finish with a basic standing pike stretch. So standing forward fold. Let's come on up, bring the feet close together. Keep the legs nice and straight. And from here, we're gonna tilt the hips forward and bring the hands down toward the floor. So if you can't reach the floor, you can put your hands on your shins, but let's get into this fold. We're just doing a nice forward fold stretch to finish our mobility today. Awesome work today, guys. It's just one more workout left in this core and mobility series. And we get to move on onwards and upwards.
Okay. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. We'll see you next week for the final one. See ya.